Sky Moore is not good, and he needs to prove that he's good before we put him into our lineups. He needs to put on multiple games in a row of earning targets, earning snaps, running routes, making plays and catches, and he had the opportunity to do so with Travis Kelsey out. In fact, he took a big stinker. So no, Sky Moore is droppable in your normal size leagues. Let him be someone else's problem. Let someone else have to deal with the fact that Sky Moore might be on their bench and they're tempted to start him. There, there's a classic prayer is lead us not into temptation. Let someone else be led into the temptation of drafting or playing Sky Moore. Yeah, we don't we don't have any reason to, to move a Sky Moore into our rosters. You can drop him. Let him be someone else's problem. Let him let the person who's picking up him up think that they have something. They don't. Sky Moore is not good until he shows that he is, because for now. We haven't seen it. We have not seen it from Sky Moore. Uh, Evan Ingram, on the other hand, you're probably going to have to start Evan Ingram here and there, but we know what Evan Ingram is. He's a spike week king with a really low floor on an, a good offense. And so a tight end on a good offense can fall into the end zone. He's a high A dot type of player, yards ever catch type of player. Uh, Evan Ingram has put up multiple top 10 seasons in his career at the tight end position. So, of course, we're going to be considering starting Evan Ingram week to week. The, the problem is, is that Evan Ingram's floor is very scary. So I, you're probably starting Evan Ingram. You probably don't have better choices. Like if you like the content, you found this helpful, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. 